hello friends i welcome you in lecture number 2 on relations in lecture number 1 we have discussed what is relation and we have given the definition of relation in this lecture we will discuss some examples of relations before going for this lecture number 2 we just recall the definition of relation suppose we have two sets say a and b then if we consider cartesian product of a and b then it is nothing but set of all ordered pairs x y where first element comes from first set a second element comes from second set b and any subset of cartesian product of a and b is called a relation from set a to set b so this is the definition of relation now suppose these two sets are equal that is a and b are equal then we have r as a subset of a cross a in this case r is a relation from set a to itself so whenever we have two sets equal we have a relation r from set to itself and that type of relation is called relation on set a so this is the definition of relation on a set if r is a relation from a set a to itself that is r is a subset of cartesian product of a with itself then we say that r is a relation on set a for example if i consider this set a equal to order uh, a equal to set containing these two elements then a cross a is the a uh, set 1 1 1 2 and 2 1 2 2 using the definition of cartesian product uh, we can find out cartesian product of set a with itself we fix 1 and vary these two elements similarly we fix 2 and vary these two elements so there are four elements in the set a cross a and any subset of this cartesian product is called relation on set a for example we can have r equal to say 1 2 and 2 1 then this is a subset of a cross a therefore r is a relation on a set a we can have infinite set also for example if we consider set of all integers and uh, we consider uh, this uh, relation that r is given by set of all ordered pairs m n such that m equal to n plus 1 then this set is going to be subset of z cross z we are considering this type of integers m equal to n plus 1 that is suppose n is 3 then m is 3 plus 1 that is 4 suppose n is minus 1 then m is minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 suppose n is 0 then m is 0 plus 1 that is 1 0 so these are the elements of this relation and uh, all these elements are subset of z cross z so this is a relation on the set of integers so that is the meaning of relation on a set a whenever we have two sets equal then we have a relation from set a to that set itself and in that case we say that r is a relation on a set a and uh, as in the case of function here also we can talk about domain and range of a relation so whenever we have a relation suppose r is a relation uh, from set a to set b then r will be a subset of this a cross b so the members of r will be ordered pairs where first element comes from set a second element comes from set b so if we consider this set of all the first elements in the ordered pairs which are present in the relation r then that set 
is called domain of the relation R and the set of all second elements in all those ordered pairs which are present in the given relation that set is called range of the relation so that I have written here the domain of a relation R is the set of all first elements of the ordered pairs which belong to R and the range of R is the set of second elements of the ordered pairs which belong to R we consider with the help of this example suppose we have set A having three elements 1 2 3 and set B is having three elements x y z and we consider this relation R from set A to set B 1 comma y 1 comma z 3 comma y all these elements are present in A cross B therefore this R is a relation from set A to set B now suppose we are interested in the domain of this relation then domain of this relation is the subset of set A and elements of domain of R are the elements first elements in all the ordered pairs here first element is 1 here also 1 and here 3 therefore the set of first elements contains 1 and 3 and this is the domain of R similarly range of R is the set of second elements of the ordered pairs which belong to R here ordered pairs which belong to R have second elements Y and Z therefore range of R is Y comma Z so this is simple meaning of domain and range of a relation the set of all first elements of the ordered pairs which belong to R is called the domain of the relation and range is the set of all second elements we consider some more examples of relations suppose I have set A having these three objects eggs milk corn and set B is having these three objects cows goats hens and uh, define a relation R from set A to set B by this relationship ordered pair AB belong to R if first element that is A is produced by B and here we have to list out the elements in this relation R so we know that R is a subset of A cross B but we have to consider those ordered pairs from this set A cross B which satisfy this condition that is first object is produced by this second object in the order pair so we can start with these x so we know that x are produced by hands only so these two if we consider order pair containing x as first element and hands as second element then this ordered pair belong to this relation r okay, because x are produced by hands similarly we check for second if we consider milk then we know that milk is produced by cows as well as goats therefore uh, we can write these two order pairs milk comma cows and milk comma goats and third element in set a is corn and uh, we know that corn is not produced by any of these three elements in the set B so these are the only ordered pairs which belong to relation R so sometimes your relation can be defined using this type of condition also and uh, this all these three ordered pairs are subset of A cross B because first elements come from set A second elements come from set B therefore R is a subset of A cross B and therefore R is a relation from set A to set B we take another example divides relation familiar relation on the set of integers Z is divides relation so whenever we consider relation on the set 
that means we have to consider this subset of Cartesian product Z cross Z. Here we have to consider divides relation on the set of integers. So that relation can be written in this way. We consider the set of all ordered pairs m comma n where m n comes from the set of integers that is they are integers and we are considering divides relation. So we consider all those order pairs m n where m and n are integers and m divides second element that is n. So the elements which are present in this relation are infinite. For example, if I consider this order pair 2 comma 4 then it belongs to this relation because 2 divides 4. Similarly, we can write 4 comma 8 because 4 divides 8, 3 comma 9, 3 divides 9, 1, 3, 100. So there are infinite number of elements present in this relation and we cannot list out all the infinite number of relations. So we can write this divides relation on the set of integers in this way or sometimes the instead of writing in this way we can write this symbol this notation also this is the notation for divides okay, if you consider vertical line between m and n that is the notation for m divides n and this is very familiar relation on the set of integers we are going to use this relation several times in this lecture series so you should remember this type of familiar relations in the examination they can simply write that consider the divides relation on the set of integers so you must be familiar with this condition that we are considering those order pairs m comma n where m and n are integers and m divides n and uh, these are another uh, known relations or trivial relations universal and empty relations suppose we consider any set a then uh, we know that a cross a and empty set are always subsets of cartesian product of a with itself and uh, therefore they are also relations on a set a and these two trivial relations are called universal and empty relations so if a is any set then we know that any subset of a cross a is called relation on a and we know that a cross a is subset of itself and empty set is also subset of itself and these two relations are called universal relation a cross a is called universal relation and this empty set is called empty relation or void relation so remember these two relations also and uh, in this way we can define infinite number of relations on infinite number of different sets for example we can talk about greater than relation on the set of real numbers suppose we consider relation on the set of real numbers then we have to consider this subset of r cross r so suppose we consider this subset of r cross r order pair m comma n where m and n are real numbers and m is strictly greater than n then this relation is called greater than relation on this set of real numbers remember this name it is called greater than relation on this set of real numbers which we denote by this notation r so here we consider those order pairs of real numbers for which first element is strictly greater than second element suppose 5 and 3 minus 2 and uh, minus 3 so there are infinite number of elements present in this relation also and uh, sometimes this type of relations are denoted by symbolic notations also instead of denoting this relation by this notation r they are using this greater than notation also 
but remember whenever we are using this greater than relation greater than symbol to denote the relation r then this greater than is simply the name of the set which denotes the greater than relation so sometimes they are using this notation greater than to denote the greater than relation on this set of real numbers similarly uh, they can write equality relation also order pair m n where m n are real numbers and m and n are equal so this is called equality relation or diagonal relation on this set of real numbers and uh, uh, we can uh, say that we can denote it by this equality symbol also instead of writing this they can use this equality relation also or they can write that consider the equality relation on this set of real numbers so these are the uh, examples of relations and uh, you should um, you must be clear about this uh, different types of relations before proceeding further because we are going to use this definition throughout this chapter if r is a subset of a cross b then r is called a relation from set a to set b and if two sets are equal then we have r is subset of a cross a in this case we say that r is a relation on set a so whenever we say that r is a relation on set a then we are considering subsets of cartesian product of set a with itself and whenever we consider a cross b then we are taking two different sets and uh, their cartesian product is taken and relation is this subs any subset of that cartesian product so here we have discussed several examples of relations and uh, you should be familiar that how relation is defined and uh, we will continue with this in upcoming lectures thanks for